Hey, so I wanted to do something different this week, a different workout, but remember I said I wanted you for the cardio to still do your cardio, but instead of doing it at a two to one ratio, do it at a one to one ratio. So if you were jogging for two minutes, then running for one minute, I want you to jog for 30 seconds and run for 30 seconds or whatever it was that you were doing, but whatever um, ratio you could do it, the same amount of rest as the active um, more high intensity that's what I want you to do and then for the workout I'm going to give you five other exercises that you haven't done yet and I want you to do it in a combination so the first exercise is called I surrender we don't need weights or you could use weights for that one but what you're doing is your hands are up you're going down you can't see that you're going down to your knees and back up just like that. If you have a knee issue or problems with that, just go ahead, take a chair. You're gonna squat and stand or squat and stand with your hands up. When you use your hands, you're activating your core just a little bit more. And then the second exercise, you're gonna do that for about a minute. The second exercise is tuck jump. If you can't do the tuck jump, just do knee ups. So I'll do the easier version first. Hand, hands are up here and you're quickly bringing your knees up or if you're able to, just do the tuck jump, okay? Or if you can't do the tuck jump for 30 seconds, do the knee ups for 30 seconds and then the tuck jumps. Okay, so that's the second exercise. The third exercise, you can use weights. You don't have to. Oh, sorry. Okay, you're gonna do, but your arms are at your sides. You're going down and coming up. You don't have to use weights. Okay. It's three, and I know some of these exercises might be the same, but it's a different combination of exercises. So the last two exercises, the one is going to be mountain climbers. Oh, the reason I like mountain climbers is because it does cardio, core, everything. Oh gosh, I can't be in the camera in this. Okay. So you're taking your leg on the outside, remember, just like that. Okay, it's hard to do it that way. That's the third exercise. And the last one, or that's the fourth exercise. And the last one I want you to do is really not that hard, but there's a bonus one for your abs. So the last one I want you to do is a chop. So you take a weight or you don't have to have a weight and you're going down to one side and taking the weight to the other side. You can use a heavier weight for this and you're gonna do 30 seconds on one side and 30 seconds on the other side, okay? You wanna make sure your knees are forward or out. You don't want them to go in. Sit back in the squat and go at a diagonal. Okay, and then what I want you to do is um, the last one you don't have to do because it's a bonus one, but it's for your core. So you're in the plank position. <laughs> wow, okay. So let's move this back. So you're in the plank position. <laughs> you're in the plank, okay. You're almost doing like a jumping jack. Out and in, out and in. So that's the bonus one. You can add if you want to, you don't have to. But let me know.